another five minute mystery. In an anniversary party just going on at Brown's household around the corner, one of the guests, George Taylor, pauses while eating dessert, says, Mmm, the best lemon pie I ever tasted. Oh, really? I wish my wife could do as well. Hey, it doesn't look as if Sam is appreciating it much, though. Goodness dear, is my cooking that bad? Sam, your head is practically in your plate. I guess they're falling asleep. Someone, I'm so sorry. Haha, <laughs> that's all right. Sam, Sam, sit up, Sam. It's dreadful. I'd rather shake him. Sam, Sam? Great guns, he's dead. How do you do? I'm Sergeant Bach, the Homicide Division, and this one is one of my boys, Mike Grady. Where's the body? In the dining room, at the table. We didn't move him. Hmm. You might as well be comfortable, everybody. This will take a little while. Hmm. Dead. All right. Peaceful, too. Who's Miss Sam Brown? I am. You mind telling me what's happened? I guess. I'm so shocked. I don't know where to begin or what to tell you. Well, you might as well begin by telling me what you serve for dinner. Well, uh, we had soup first. Soup? What kind of soup? Mushroom, and then roast chicken, green bees, mashed potatoes, and served him some coffee. Then I didn't see how that could mean anything. Just routine, Miss Brown. Did Mr. Brown eat everything? Yes, he did. He seemed to fall asleep over his coffee. Hmm. And when I tried to wake him, I found him he had a heart attack. Yeah, that will be all for a few minutes, Miss Brown. We want to take a look around. I notice everything about this table, Mike. No, Chief, can't say I do. Neither do I. Let's look in this kitchen. An orderly person, isn't she? Stack dishes after each course. Yes, and here's the silverware over there. Ah, ah, look, Chief, one of these soup spoons has turned black. Black? Let me see it. The only spoon that's tarnished, too. Well, I was beginning to think it was a heart attack or a perfect murder, but this silver spoon is the evidence enough. Er, uh, Miss Brown. Yes, Sergeant Parker? I'm sorry to interrupt your little party, Miss Brown, but I'm sure your guests won't mind. Uh, I don't understand. You will, Miss Brown. You will. You see, you're under arrest for the murder of your husband. Do you know why Sergeant Barker accused Miss Brown of murder? In a moment, we'll hear the solution. But first, a word from our sponsor. Oh! You are round MVP. Yeah, man! Yo, Drew, I finally got round MVP. Round MVP. <laughs> no way! That was some ownage. Finally earning round MVP takes determination. So will getting into college. I've got what it takes. So do you. Visit knowhowtogo.org to learn what you should be doing right now to prepare for college. Start taking the steps at knowhowtogo.org. Brought to you by the American Council on Education, Lumina Foundation, and the Ad Council. And now back to our story. Sergeant Barker, how do you know it was homicide? Well, Miss Brown took careful pains to wash the soup pans and soup dishes before she served the rest of the meal. Ah, yes, I can see that. But she forgot one thing, <gasps> to wash the silver soup spoons. What she didn't realize was that an hour later, by the end of dinner, the soup her husband had used to eat his toadstool soup would give her away. She didn't know that the toadstool would make silver turn black. Miss Brown almost committed a perfect murder, but she forgot to wash one spoon. 